What's on Etsy? A custom child's play burnt Chucky by artist DS Customs and Apparel. put the link down below if you're interested in checking out not only this piece and adding this one to your collection but the other cool collectibles and apparel that he has at his store as well. I suppose the first thing we'll do is we'll measure out how tall this custom Chucky stands and right to the very top of his head. He's about 15 inches. I probably had just missed a mark slightly. 14.9 is what I'm reading. It's probably close to a 15 inch tall figure. Switching that over to centimeters, if centimeters is your thing, that the figure then stands at 37.8 centimeters in height. By the way, those looking to pick up burnt Chucky for themselves, price point is $246.41. That's what the artist is selling it for. Comes included with the original knife that came included with the Mezco release of Chucky, as this is a custom of a Mezco release. The knife has been heavily saturated. That's an understatement. Uh, I do like the colors that he used for the blood. It looks like he used two different colors of red, one being a slightly wetter kind of coating of blood, and then a more gooped, kind of caked bit of blood on the bottom there. You can see that there's a slight variation in those two reds. The knife is not sharp, so don't worry, you don't have to worry about cutting yourself there. And it fits into his hand. It doesn't fit really into his hand well. It was the same problem that the original Mezco piece had. You sort of have to wedge it into his hand, and while you are doing that, you have to be careful that you're not accidentally going to put pressure on the blade, because of course that, will, uh, that would cause damage and or breaking the blade right off. If you're wondering as well, the artist has kept the audio function still available. So you just press a little button on the back. It's right there. A true right there. Never goes out of style. And it will cycle through Get several phrases. I'll be back. I always come back. I don't have a problem with killing. I like a little killing now and then. What's wrong with that? <laughs> One could definitely agree that the artist put a lot of time and care into burning up Chucky. I can't imagine he actually took a torch to Chucky, but gave you the next best thing. DS Customs and Apparel has done a really outstanding bang-up job here on Chucky's face. Really having like the melted molten plastic dripping down Chucky's face, still revealing, like in the movie, one open eye. And I do like that he's kind of bloodshot the one eye while the other eye is completely sealed over and like in the movie he's got a few little drippings in which the plastic has draped its way over top of the eye socket things also still visible on chucky here is the open teeth the open mouth area which it looks like he has colored in the teeth made them just a little bit brighter so they nice do nicely stand out one nice little touch that i also like that he did was he added a little wire there's a little wire sticking out from the end the out area the side area there of chucky's face all around very impressed with what he's done here right to the point that if you spin the figure around He's also, of course, shortened the hair a little bit, and he's he's stained it, given it that sense that it, that it does look burned, torched, and otherwise rather scorched. The custom tweaking and painting carries its way down from the neck all the way down to its feet, where he's really tarnished and burnt out the uh, the outfit, giving it a really dark soot look to it. 
It looks like he's just taken some nice paint and darkened the shirt, the overalls, I should, the coveralls, quite considerably. There are a few little areas in which you can still sort of see the lighter shade, which I think is accurate to the movie itself. Most, if not all, of the uh, the deco here, the cowboys, the doctors, and all the other things that Chucky could have participated in if he wasn't wanting to kill poor Andy Barkley, or at least, very at least, take his soul. Um, but uh, really nicely done. Uh, again, I like the fact that he's kind of charred the overalls, given that look that he's obviously just been torched. He's been set on fire, after all. Even, like, down to his boots have been given a black, sort of slick coat of paint over top of it. No t no touch, no area seems to have been unscathed by his uh, his new tweaking and customization, even like down to the hands. The hands have also been charred as well. It looks like it's two different colors that he's used, it prob uh, used probably like a base coat of a darker gray and then a lightly uh, lighter shade of almost a silver gray that has been covered over top of the, the melted areas of the plastic. I don't know why I like this so much, but even like the strings, just by the way that he's done it, the strings of like the melted plastic have kind of blended in with one another. It is really, really neat how he's actually done this. Um, again, this is a handmade item. And despite for the fact that it is a customized based on an existing figure, I think he's really, again, done a super, super service for fans who have really always wanted a burnt Chucky, myself included. Posability on this guy, by the way, he still retains all the posability that he had before. His head rotates all the way around. And it also hinges up and down, side to side. Arms hinge slightly out, and you can rotate them all the way around. Kind of the same problem that the Mezco original release had. You can only really turn the arms so much before like the fabric starts bunching around the shoulder area. And then he has posability in the legs. Not so much out, but posability left and right. Again, I really like this piece quite a bit. It's always sort of like that wish list item that I've always wished a company could have produced. And ultimately now we've got it here from artist DS Customs and Apparel. And I think he's done a bang up job. Luckily, one will not have to give up one's soul to acquire the burnt custom Chucky for themselves. If you're interested in picking up the custom Mezco 15-inch talking burnt Chucky horror figure, I'll put the link down below to DS Customs and Apparel. He also, of course, much like the name, say, the name says, he also does apparel as well. If you uh, also want to check out some of his other offerings between t-shirts, a burnt Chucky, he also has done another Chucky with the knife wedged into his hand, which really does look quite cool as well. Again, at the price point for this one, if you're looking to pick up for yourself, is $246.41. It was on Etsy. We were having a look at the custom Mezco 15-inch talking burnt Chucky from an incredible artist, DS Customs in Apparel. Really looking cool. I like. I really like the look of this one quite a bit. If you guys haven't had a chance to hit that little subscribe button down below, what are you waiting for? A soul-seeking doll looking to claim the soul of your child. I wouldn't want that. But hit that little subscribe button down below. More videos will be coming your way. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.